All right, guys, we need to do a little bit of maintenance to the, uh, the Robin Air AC recovery machine. As soon as the machine starts up, it's saying uh, the machine is going to lock itself out in the near future. It wants to replace the filter, gives me a part number, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell this, yes, we're gonna change this filter today. So I got the new one here. It is a Robin Air branded filter. Uh, filter dryer is what it's labeled as, and it's got its part number there. So we're gonna open this up, grab the serial number, program that into the machine over there, and take the covers off that machine and replace this thing. Because if we don't, and it goes into lockout mode, we will have to call the service technician out to do this procedure. Big old heavy boy. Come here. And here we go, and we've got our seal number that needs to be programmed into the machine. So let's go do that right now. And we are looking at one, eight, eight, six, uh, Charlie. If there's Charlie, seven, nine, Echo, zero, zero. Oh, that wasn't right. Zero. Okay, I'm short one digit on the machine, but let's go ahead and tell it yeah, and see what it says. Okay, it's gonna go ahead and recover itself and clear all the refrigerant out of its own lines. While it's doing that, I have an opportunity to get the bolts removed, and we'll pull this cover off after this machine's done. I, I will be powering it down before removing the cover because I don't think you're supposed to work on electrical equipment while it's plugged in. All right, serial number accepted, turn unit off and replace filter. You got it. Following instructions. It didn't say to unplug the unit, but safety. I can't get that bolt out, whatever. Okay, so let's get this cover off this machine. Oh, fail. I have to get this uh, oil tank off. There we go. Are there any screws back there? It's already missing, so no. And let's pull this thing out of the way. And that exposes our internals on this unit. Okay. That's interesting. Looks like we got a leak here. Yeah, there's a leak at, uh, I think, the solenoid right there. All right, I'm gonna go fetch the boss real quick and have them uh, call the guy out to uh, get this thing repaired. All right, well, I just got back. Uh, we're gonna put in a call to the uh, the Robin Air service people to come see what's going on with this leak right here. In the meantime, I'm just gonna continue uh, what I intended on doing, and that's replacing this filter. So uh, at this point, it's shameless plug, uh, Amazon sales pitch time. Uh, I would like to introduce to you guys my angry pliers. Uh, many of you have seen these before in other videos, but they are super awesome. These ones are Snap-on part number PWZ2. Now these are not manufactured by Snap-on. They are actually manufactured by a Swedish company called Baco. And these are available on Amazon. So if you guys would like to get yourself a set of these, uh, please check the Amazon links in the description of this video and uh, you'll be able to find them there. So all that being said, it's Angry, Fri Angry Flyers to the rescue. End shameless sales pitch now. Now let's give it a grip, turn that, loosen it, and pull it on out. Maybe. Come on. Actually, this thing could be the leak. There's a, quite a bit of dye on these threads. Once I get this out, I'll take a look for a closer inspection. That O-ring looks good. Okay. Okay. Doing a side by side, and these are uh, appear to be the same. Well, well, well. I think I might have just saved us a service call. Look at what I found right here. 
comparing the top uh, top sections of these and noticing all of this dye that's going on right here, I see that this receiver dryer filter assembly does not have an O-ring right on top here, whereas this new replacement one does have an O-ring. And taking a look up into the this manifold, that O-ring is not present in there. It's not there, so this thing's been been leaking all over the place for quite some time. Well, that's cool. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and install this unit, and I will brake clean all this uh, dye and everything off of this, and I'll recheck it in a week or so to see if it's got any leaks. Because I'd rather not pay the guy to come out here and try to service this machine when we don't need it. We don't need to do that because I, I may have just fixed it. However, I am wondering where exactly that O-ring went. I mean, it, theoretically, it should have it should have been installed on this filter last time this filter was changed. I mean, who knows? Stranger things have happened. Let's get this. Come on. So I do want to give this a little bit more torque. Um, there takes a, there's a special wrench, I'm assuming, that fits in there, a very low profile one. I don't have one that size that's gonna fit inside of that uh, little gap. So I am gonna revert back to the angry pliers. I, I call them angry because they were actually very quite aggressive. Um, I don't want to smash this filter in, so what I'm gonna do is just use this towel here and I'm gonna grip it from the weld at the bottom so it doesn't collapse on itself. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of an oomph to secure it a little tighter. Okay. And the worst I did was a little bit of a paint scratch there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that one slide. This is gonna be okay. And time to clean this off with some brake parts cleaner and get it put back together. It appears this leak has been here for quite some time. Someone left a towel in there to soak up all this refrigerant and dye. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna resolve this problem today. I, I don't I don't like the condition that this machine is in. And in order to not make a huge mess, I'll throw this rag down and put all my dirties in. And I just want to soak up. Wow, that's a lot of oil in there. Dudes. Who does this? Look at that. Nasty. This is a, definitely a time to have some gloves on because this green dye, this UV reactive dye, will stain everything it touches, including skin. Skin, clothes, hair. You name it, it'll stain it. And if you step on it, you'll track it all around the, through the shop and you'll have green glowing footprints everywhere, which is also not good. And more brake clean. I think that's about as good as I can get it. That's the majority of it all. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna power this machine back up after I get the lid on it. And, uh, oh, there's dye all over my floor. And uh, hopefully it will work better next time we use it. Because this machine, like I said earlier, has been taking a very long time to install refrigerant charges. It's quite annoying. Well, before I throw that cover on, I'm gonna do one more spray down just for good measure. Like I said, I'm gonna pull this cover back off in a, in a week or so and verify that this thing, in fact, is leak-free. Very good. 
and a little bit of high pressure air. Dry off all that brake clean, we should be good. Oh no. The mess. That's a lot of UV dye. Have no fear. Absorbent mats are here. There. Now standard operating procedure with these oil absorbent mats is to just uh, throw them down like newspaper in that movie Big Daddy with Adam Sandler and you just leave them there for eternity. There. Good to go. Let's get the cover back on this mofo. to have an alignment issue. Got it. Click. Click. And of course, I've got to get the oil tank, the recovery tank installed down here. That just slips in and pops into place. Very high tech. Alrighty, let's plug back in, let's power it up. Let's see what it says. Okay, after startup, uh, the machine appears to be doing warning for oil drain. It's doing some kind of oil drain procedure. I I'm not gonna actually change the compressor oil in this. We do not have any right now. Uh, but I am going to be avoiding the lockout by changing that, uh, that filter. So I think we're good to go on this machine. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching me uh, service and uh, attempt to repair on this refrigerant recovery machine. If you did, please let me know about it by tapping tap that thumbs up button. If, uh, if you know about these machines and can offer any insight to them, please uh, head down to the comments section and let me know. Okay, I thought I was done, but I'm not. Uh, it's telling me to drain the pump oil out and uh, replace it with five ounces of new oil. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, it's uh, it's time, might as well just service it. However, I don't have any vacuum pump oil, so we're gonna have to order some. Okay, here's the, that's the sight glass on the vacuum pump that's inside of here. It looks like there's moisture in that. And I believe this is the drain. Yes, it is, oh my God. Okay. That's nasty too. It's all brown. It's definitely full of water. I'm glad I uh, made the decision to do this. That's good. Okay, I gotta figure out how to get this out of this without getting it all over this. I need a hose. Okay, let's try this. Drain bucket and a hose. That, that might work. Aha! Uh -huh. All right, I'll be back when this is done. All right, this has all drained out. All right, let's get this uh, pump filled up and that's not gonna happen unless I can get that over. Overkill, yes. Did it work? Sure it did. Ah, me pouring things. Yeah, let's come around to the sight glass. I don't know if you guys can pick up what's going on. But we should start to see that, to see that fluid level rise any moment. Oh, there it is, maximum level. Right on, that, that came up quick. Okay. Uh, so it says to drain that, which I did, put five ounces in, which I did, and let's go to next. Fill vacuum pump to center, uh, a, little, a little overfilled, but it'll be all right. And it hoses to storage port on the coupler valves. Okay. All right, so those service port couplers are gonna be down here on the side. It says connect that and open the valves. Uno mas. Get on there. Oh, fail. Let's try this again. Okay. 
guess I did that. Uh, okay, looks like it's just gonna put itself through a recovery phase and uh, I'm assuming it's gonna recalibrate itself. So I'll check back in when this is uh, done doing what it's doing. All right, it has completed its automated uh, self-correcting procedures. And this is our uh, nominal home screen. Everything is ready to go for the next one. This one's all set, powering down. And again, thank you guys for watching and don't forget to go buy some stuff off my Amazon link. See you guys later. Have a great day.